a lot because every single man and W7M will just follow up with flexes of two separate players from Space Station. Gets out of there, oh. but the grenade will be the first one in. It's not a player, but it still does some serious damage. And down goes one of the players from W7. And so they can slow things down and just take 10 seconds for themselves. They don't gotta rush through it. No smoke is off the board. They have time on their side. JV has retaken that elbow position with a C4 in hand. But Volps, he takes down Volps first. It's a 4 versus 4 with 30 seconds on the clock. They have not cleared out that back tower stairs position either. Space Station desperately need to do it. Down goes Volps. Hot and cold following in on the nade. He guns down Julio. Herds on the run out gets captured by the Claymore in the last sight of kitchen dining has only been played three times so far it's been won by the defenders every single time nick and would you look at that it's off to the start <laughs> very first pick for volps yeah i mean it was a good trade between hot and cold and volps because like yeah sure hot and cold got killed but Volps is one hp with no dock or thunderbird on the board and ssg they gain what they wanted with that death they get kitchen sorry they get kids storms control this is also a bomb site that it is oh. not uncommon to see a Thunderbird get brought for some staying power for the defenders. It seems that they don't need it right now. Space Station has suffered yet another casualty. And a 5v3 for W7M with a minute to go is a pretty nice spot to find yourself in. A 5v2 is even better, and that's where they go. With Yeti failing to make any significant noise, it's all on the shoulders of Rampy and Bosco. Explosions aplenty around, and W7M don't need to expend too much effort because they just simply wait for the last two players, Diffuser and Bosco's hands, to make it closer to the bomb site. The issue with having only two members alive for SSG is that you don't have enough verticality control here. You can open up the floor all you want, but there's not enough bodies to hold those angles. And WSNM, another C4 kill, and it's all down to Bosco. Top rated player for Space Station so far through this event. He's got the Diffuser. More playable bombs that you can work with, so you're not limited to there. I mean, look at this four Claymore duty right now. And Hot and Cold, he opens things up with an opening kill onto Frost. That is Hertz off the board. Frost may be dead, but the Frost mats will persist. So Hertz still providing some value on this bomb site, even if the gun is gone. And immediately Hertz will go on to cam duty. That's always where you go on the first death. Oh, speaking, speaking of, of Fultz hops oh. in armory, gets down by the Frost mat, and KZ will just pad their stats. That's tough. I mean, you get the advantage, you lose it right after, and KC follows up with more damage, jumps out the armory window. Nice shutdown from Mady, but the damage is done. 3v3 heavily favors defenders in Oregon because it's a defender, defender sided map, and to make matters worse, W7M, they keep up the aggression. That's right, and access in, and that's when the late reinforcement from W7M came into play. And we fixate an awful lot on kills, one of which Rampy just got on your screen against JV. But sometimes utility work is equally important, if not more round of playing awfully safe. Julio, a name that has not been on the tip of our tongue at all. There's proximity blast that goes off. Space Station approaching from attic side by side. Volps with only 12 bullets has not gone for the reload. Doesn't need to. Pulls out the secondary side. Off. After that meeting, hatch control. At the very least, backside, it looks like it's hard to attack, but they're still going to go for it. Four members are here. Two players stacked up on that landing to push down the stairs. Bosco, the first one to meet W7M head on, and KZ is in the same spot. They are slaughtering SSG. It's all up to Yeti, and it's been brought by Rampy in there. Let this happen. And if you look at their lineup, they have Rook and Doc, Alibi, Jaeger, and Melusi. They're going to swing you every single area that they can because they have no utility. No smokes, no C4s, no nothing. They're going to fight you everywhere they can because that's their win condition. We talked about staying power and what operators, and that could be an incredibly pivotal matchup, depending on what occurs for BDS yep. versus Fury. Nice shot from Herds. Yet he doesn't see that one coming. And still patrolling this hatch, Herds with the glasses on. Got his 20-20 vision, able to see all the way up from Space Station. I know you mentioned Rampy, but I mean, Fultz is 0-4, Bosco is 0-3. And sure, when one member has a hard time, SSG, they're known to struggle mentally sometimes, but Yeti has been bringing that positivity, if you'll help with that leadership role. JV now might be a troll position, but no, he's doing to confidence. Oh my goodness, the, the disrespect to just swing the way they do. Hutton tries to take measures into his own hands, can't do it. He lost control of above. KZ on the flank. He shuts down Foltz. It's all on the Montane. You know, the 5v1. Or whatever. Who is like the quarter on the breach from SSG? It's troublesome. KZ just walks in, gets hot and cold, capitalizing off of that blind spot. Foltz is next one up, and KZ gets another inside a classroom. You can't teach that. 
this timidness that we're seeing from Space Station, they managed to finally break that flawless streak with Bosco getting a single kill, but that might be it for Space Station this round as it's Yeti, the final man standing for Space Station. A nice read on the JV. All that much, and I want to see to fall. W7M are very quick into the building, and they will pick up the very first kill. Foltz, 0-7. Oh, and seven. oh boy. That's not the result you want. It's not. I mean, Volp's going to continue on in. Oh, he doesn't go to the flashbang. Goes to the melee instead. It's going to cost him. Hot and cold with an easy kill, but KC looking to justify those numbers and bring it back into the advantage. Fold still searching for his first for first kill. Him and Rampy oh. being 0-1 is not what you want out of your two fraggers. Herds knocking on the door of the bomb site. Bosco falls, and Herds just sprints through right now. He's in for a rotate. KZ is read by Rampy over towards Freezer, and there'll be yet another engagement. But W7M will decide to pause for now. Got to playing back down. by Pillar. EMP goes out, JV will follow as the blast goes. They know that the black mirror inside of the closet has been abandoned. SSG falling off towards the back of the bomb site. It's the first laundry take that we are seeing. Hertz doesn't have very much intel, and JV will try to engage long. Bob has two kills to his name. This could be a huge round for him, and he picks up yet another. Julio down for the count. Herds the next one to go to hot and cold. It's JV to watch over the diffuser. Ooh. Can he get in the position to stop it? Yeah, he has to line of sight. It's big. He's on freezer, though, and he gets oh. red out. Shield, there is that, like, 0.75. Living up to that billing that the player has. Herds is the one to get on the board first. Rampy, after that stellar performance in the previous round, will not be particularly effective, and Fultz will join him in the afterlife, as that's 45 seconds oh. off the board. They weigh you down, and you performing poorly becomes a bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy. Hot and cold is back to the window, allows KZ a free pick, yet he trades it out. But still, a double up for W7M. There's only two left for Space Station. But with the changes to Oregon, it's not as friendly as it used to be, and it allows the attackers to walk in and punish you for it. Bosco punished, leaving Yeti as last alive. Diffuser going down, and Yeti gun spot and they can just kind of coast at this point. And for a lot of teams, it is a very viable strategy. Why are you gonna give away strategies that you have, Bob operators that you have, Jackson. picks that you have, mm. when you can just conceal it? There's no reason for you to give away things that you Deploy don't have to show, and W7M have now a pretty easy day. They don't need to do anything else. They can just play some Rainbow Six Siege and relax. They've already lost KZ. Fultz is 0-9 now, as he gets taken out by JV. W7M have successfully shut down, but he gets spotted Big. by Herds. There you go. W7M getting their frags just as they need. You still got Rampy here holding this position. You still got Bosco holding his as well. Bosco with only one kill, two. Not a great performance for the top rated SSG player at this point. Barrel, D JV, do you not see him? There you go, a bit tunnel visioned. Bosco blown up, it's all on the shoulders of Rampy. With the P90, he's got plenty of ways to pull this off.